Hello everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man, I'm back again, um, it's been a good few weeks since I've um, been on, so yeah, just like to say thanks for um, sticking by me on that, and good to see my um, good old mate Wicker Boy, he's back online again, so head over to him, watch his new video, he's got tons of stuff he picked up. Right, first up for me is um, is this, it's um, Shock Treatment. And just want to show you this because um, I got this one, the Cosmo edition. And as you can see there, like a lot of people, it's basically so flimsy that the um, everyone's packaging seem to be sort of bent out of shape. Because look at that, look, really, really flimsy. Looks nice, but, you know, really shit. This is the inside of it. It's like a digipack sort of thing. You open it up like that. You've got the two discs. You've got a poster. You got a booklet and you got some little cards there as well. So yeah, it's um it's a nice design, but it's just really, really flimsy out of packaging, which is quite surprising for um for Arrow Video. Yeah, I like that as well. Really cool. And that obviously slides in there. Yeah, so it was an overall it was um it was an okay film. I see my good um buddy and ready, he's got um Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I haven't seen yet. But yeah, this was actually quite fun for a musical. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Also, got this as well. This um, Don't Torture a Duckling with the slip cover on it. And there's the other cover. Yeah, this is a classic film. One of Fucci's best looking films and that. Yeah, really enjoyed this. I do have the hour, um, oh, sorry, Shameless release as well. That's just on DVD. And this has got a really good commentary by Troy Howarth. So yeah, really knows his stuff on Lucio Fucci. And yeah. Really great giallo as well. Really enjoyed this film, so I'll recommend that one. Another Italian one I got here was um, The Suspicious Death of a Minor. Got this yesterday from HMV, 2 for 25. This is actually a really good film as well. Just finished watching it. Really enjoy it. It's got another commentary by Troy Howarth on it as well, so I'll, I think I'll have a look at that. Yeah, this is good. Um, it's a good police thing about someone killing off... Um, some young prostitutes in that and a police investigation. He has some really funny moments as well, which is, you know, quite strange for one of these films. But yeah, really enjoyed that. Also picked this one up, The Ghoul. It's one of our videos, newer releases, more modern films. Executive produced by Ben Wheatley, who's a really good good bloke. So yeah, I haven't seen this yet, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, actually watching this. Yeah, so if anyone's seen this one, The Ghoul, let me know. Also, for 2 for 25, I've got this one. Um, Eric the Conqueror, Mario Barber film. It's like a sword and sandals sort of thing. Don't know really anything about it, but I did look at the um, actual trailer for it. And yeah, looks quite fun. Might put that on later. Also, classic film, which I love. One of my favourites from the 70s sort of films, The Day of the Jackal. This is a great film. I really look forward to watching this one again. And on blu-ray but special edition but it hasn't really got that much on it it's pretty disappointing i really thought it would have had a commentary on it but yeah classic film anyway all right steelbook i finally got this one it's the um, bride of reanimator really really nice cover there on the back there really cool film i watched this one again the other day with the um commentary with Jeffrey Coombs, really, really funny. Him and the, um, the other guy who plays the other doctor in it, really good commentary, funny as fuck. Right, I know people hate this film, but um, watched this one last night with a wife, and you know what? I enjoyed it. It wasn't anything stand out amazingly brilliant, but do you know what? It was just fun. I mean, you know, the concept was absolutely brilliant, and yeah. The people at the main cast in it weren't as annoying as I thought they were going to be when you first seen them. On the opening scene with the guy with the gun is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, the CGI for the the hound is well, looks really shit, but yeah, I enjoyed it and I hope they do do another one. Um, and because I read up on the um, the story of it and it's like an urban legend, American urban legend, and and it sounds amazing. So if they actually go back and do something to do with that, I think it'd be brilliant. And other scale here is um, Toy Maker. Anyone who's followed the Robert films, there's two of them. 
it's like a cheap British version of um, Child's Play with Chucky. With a really ugly doll there. And yeah, this is a prequel called The Toy Maker. And basically it says that there's a new Puppet Master in town. But basically rips off the, totally rips off the Puppet Master series. But yeah, this is just so cheaply done. And the opening few minutes, are basically trying to copy um, Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. And anyone who's seen it or does go and watch it, you'll know exactly what I mean. Yeah, that's the toy maker. It's a really nice slip cover though. Finally got them this. This is only four pound forty nine. The witch. Really chuffed about this. This one looks really, really good and really looking forward to watching this. But it's just so disappointing that this has got no special features and as far as I know the American one has got commentary tracks on it and loads of other stuff. For some reason this has got absolutely nothing apart from the UV. Yeah, so yeah. Disappointed with that, but you know, really looking forward to watching that. And I picked this up in Asda just for eight quid. It's um Blu ray's um, Star Trek Beyond. Enough for them to get some stick, and I know it didn't do as well as people thought it was going to do, but uh, I do like my Star Trek films, so I look forward to watching this. Yeah, looks good. And lastly, uh, another controversial film, really, it's um, Alien Covenant which gets a lot of hate. I mean, I must admit, I first watched it and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But then I sat down and watched it again because it does have, a, as you can see there, Ridley Scott commentary on it. And when he's talking about it, his thoughts on the film and the explanations, it actually did make the film a lot better. But I still wasn't very impressed with the CGI. You know, the guy in a suit worked fucking perfect. It should have stuck to that. And the baby alien, when it comes out now, like, oh, God, it's like a fucking something from the Muppet show. It just looks terrible. And basically, you could just stand on the fucker and squash it. Plus, the white alien at the beginning on the planet just looked shit as well. I just didn't get it. I mean, I know he explains why it looked like that. But, you know, the alien at the end looked good. But, yeah, it was a let down I mean it looked much better in the um, in the trailer and that but yeah it just didn't nah, you know but you know Kenny fucking Powers was really good in it which surprised me <laughs> yeah he was actually good in it but yeah overall it was um, a so-so alien film pretty disappointing but yeah that's it um, thanks for watching and a big shout out to Johnny Rocker Billington and um Steph Chops Soden, you know, been chatting to them quite a bit. And that, you know, look forward to meeting you and uh, you two at um, Horrorcon next year. Yeah. So everybody out there, keep it horror and catch you later.